So we're taking a look in this video at the pitch and voicing section. So to start off with, I'm going to turn off the vocoder. And let's just take a listen to the incoming vocal. Will you better believe? Now, what we're able to do here is actually pitch correct this vocal in real time. Put the strength here, so how strongly the vocal is corrected, and the speed, how quickly it's corrected. We set this to a very high amount. It's going to be a bit more robotic sounding. Will you better believe? And you hear artifacts. So if you want to do sort of natural pitch correction, try something more subtle like this. Will you better believe? That I'm watching you watch. And that would be pitch correction as a sort of utility. You can also use it for creative effect too. Now you can also choose what key to be correcting to as well. So right now we're in chromatic, which is all notes. And we have a major and a minor scales. Once we've selected one of those, we can select our scale from here. Will you better believe that I'm watching you? Now if you're not in the right key, it is going to create some artifacts. But what I really want to show you here is the custom key area. This is where you can get more creative. For example, I've set it here just to one note, full speed and full strength. Let's take a listen to that. Will you better believe? That I'm watching you, watching your eyes. So you can hear it's completely restrained there to this one note. If I add another one here. Will you better believe that I'm watching you, You can hear it fluctuate up and down. Helping me realize it's just a game. A game of fantasy, hopes and dreams. With no meaning. If you take my heart. So that strong restriction there. Now, when you combine that with the vocoder itself, you can create a much more robotic sound. So let's go back to just the one note here. Will you better believe that I'm this is without correction. You watching your eyes, helping me realize it's just a game, a game of fantasy, hopes and dreams, with no meaning. Okay, so let's go over to the voicing section now. That this has to be used in conjunction with a vocoder. So uh, maybe I'll just turn on this BioVox as well. Now the thing to know about this is the correction happens as well after the voicing. So if I try to add, say a fifth, and maybe even just nine semitones here as well, it's not gonna work out the way you might expect because it's all gonna be restrained to this one note anyway. Would you better believe that I'm watching you, watching your eyes? So it's just something to be aware of there. Now, of course, if you reduce the strength and the speed a little bit, you get a different sound again. Will you better believe that I'm watching you, watching your eyes, helping me realize it's just a game. Let's go back to our key. Fantasy, hopes and dreams. And now we can add in these fifths. If you take my heart and shatter it on the ground, I know I will be back to feel you with the sound. So there's some really cool things you can do right here before we even get really into depth with the vocoders and the filters and the effects. So let's take a look here at this little section on the left here. It's quite simple. It doesn't do a lot creatively. What it does is it helps optimize vocal synth to track the vocal. That is to track the pitch of the incoming vocal. So if you've got a very low singing voice, you might want to switch to low, that optimizes it to track the pitch of a low vocal, same here with the high vocal, and then for everything else, you might just use mid. And this control, of course, brings down the original vocal coming in, so you can have that mixed in or not. It's just a game. But you will find out that you can't get these harmonized voices will you better believe without having some vocoder that active. I'm watching you, watching your eyes, helping me realize it's just a game, a game of fantasy, hopes and dreams with no meaning. Okay, so that's it for this section on our pitch and voicing. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.